quesadilla, the official cheese sandwich of the Southwest, and my personal favorite edible semicircle. But the question is, will they waffle? If you're a human, you probably love quesadillas. It's in our DNA. But what you might not know is that every year there is a global celebration in honor of the quesadilla. Quesadilla Corn. I've been told that it began as a harvest festival in tribute to the now extinct quesadilla tree. Whatever its origins, it is a day for the whole world to come together and eat quesadillas in unity with one another. And quesadilla con is just around the corner, so I thought that I would prepare for the holiday by finding out if quesadillas Waffle. Now, despite being a huge fan of eating quesadillas, I've never actually constructed one. So I brought in quesadilla con veteran Taryn Gray to teach me how it's done. So when I texted you and asked if you know much about making quesadillas, you said, oh, you bet your ass. <laughs> so I'm expecting some impressive skills here. Yeah, well, got some practice under my belt. So basically you wanted to create a national holiday and you just did it. Yes. For quesadillas. Yes. It hasn't been confirmed as a national holiday, but Taco Bell has tweeted about it, which in my books means it's basically an official national holiday now. Oh, this is good cheese. It's Mexican, so you know it's right for quesadillas. Ah, because yes. that is how we label our cheese here in America. So this is raw quesadilla. You want to do the honors? Let's do it. Mmm, it's gooey. The cheese is massively coming down over on this side. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Oh man, that looks good. Now this is giving us like a cheese light show. Can you imagine that? You like go to Disneyland and at the end of the day they just have this giant like cheese show. <laughs> the sky fills oh. with like cheese and these cool shapes and it's like shooting out at you. I want that to happen. Wow. Hmm, something went awry because we do have no cheese in the quesadilla. Oh no! <laughs> no, it's just like the jam! Oh uh, no! melted out into, into this the, part. The cheese is cooking faster than everything else, so it just like spells into the iron and oh no. It was tasty, but yeah, the tortilla just isn't quite there. I think it's that there's no cheese in it. Let's try cooking one first. And then let's put it on there. Have you ever used like a quesadilla maker? I have not. I traditionally either make them on the stove in a pan or just on top of the stove without a pan. Right. Um, whoa, whoa, what? Yeah. You, you just, without yeah. a pan. So how, like, how do you do that? Just so you know, the fire extinguisher is by your left ankle. I'm nervous about this version. I'm not it gonna burn really your cool. apartment down. So when it droops, that's a sign that it's it's almost done. That's when you know the inside is like melted. It's like too big for the waffle iron. It's like the waffle iron is eating with his mouth full. <laughs> My worry is that the cheese, wow. even if it's not falling out onto the irons and evaporating, it might just be because we're double cooking it. Well, it doesn't look like it was waffled so much as it was hit with a waffle iron. And cheese, though, not not hugely present. Yeah. Not even tasting it now. There's a little bit of cheese there, but... Mm. I think your wafer theory was accurate. It's too thin, and the cheese, it just it's so overheated, it just melts into the tortilla, and there's just nothing here. I think we should try the super quesadilla. I think it's time. It's time I for the Belgedia. A bigger waffle iron might have helped here. Yeah. So the main aim here is to not be a wafer and for the cheese to still exist. Oil Maybe ones. we should rotate it. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, let's definitely rotate. Ooh. All right. Here we go, Belgedia. So this whole section yeah. is waffle. That's good, that's where the toppings are. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, this is heavy. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mm. that cheese dripping down my chin. The cheese is definitely still there. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. It feels like a religious experience. This is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's fine. The floor should have some. It deserves <laughs> to share in this. No excuses, we have to eat a lot more of this. <laughs> So do quesadillas waffle? Well, not ordinary quesadillas. You need some extra padding and protection buffering the cheese so that it doesn't dry up into the tortilla before the tortilla is done cooking. So for your quesadilla con celebrations, I recommend the super quesadilla. The Belgian waffle of quesadillas. Just 
throw everything onto the quesadilla at once and make a quesadilla that is huge enough to be shared with the whole group. And if you do celebrate Quesadilla Con this weekend, Saturday, September 13th, make sure to RSVP to the Facebook group, link in the description box, and use the hashtag to join along in the festivities with everyone else. And if you happen to waffle your quesadillas, let me know by posting pictures or videos and hashtagging it all will it waffle so that all of us can see your waffle experiments. So do quesadillas waffle? Oh, they don't just waffle, they become a beautiful work of art. <laughs>